What's up, everybody? This is Anthony Tillman on Picture Perfect TV. I'm here with the guy needs no introduction. He's the winner of the 2011 Hoodie Awards, um, Tony Lewis. You know, we're going to follow him around in the next two days to talk about how he earned the award, behind the scenes of the way he reached people, and everything. So, I'd like to introduce Tony Lewis. What's up, man? How you doing today, man? Well, man. All is well. So, um, tell me, um, you know, what, what you do? Um, well, I do a couple of things. Um, I'm the founder of an organization called Sons of Life. Um, that organization um, is not just me. It's, uh, I have four other members of Sons of Life. Um, four of us being kids or children of an incarcerated parent. Um, four of us having uh, parents being in jail for a life sentence. So, hence, uh, Sons of Life. Um, we also tasked with trying to bring life, bring a, a new energy to kids of incarcerated parents, helping them from a social and educational standpoint. Um, I also work with the ex-offender population. I train and I prepare ex-offenders, formerly incarcerated people for the workforce, and I serve as a liaison between that population and the business community and in the DMV um, in hopes that we can help those those people transition into gainful employment. Um, and the goal of that, of course, is to help those those individuals um, be positive and uh, stay on the street and not reoffend. And also, ultimately, be parents, right? So, in, in, in one way, one job helps the other. If I can help individuals formerly incarcerated come home, um, reintegrate into society positively, and, and be active parents, then they also help sons of life. Really, I would love for um, the process to work in a way in which uh, there's no need for sons of life. That there's no kids out here that parents are incarcerated. You know, and I, I know that's a a very ambitious thing, but at the end of the day, um, I was, I'm was i a kid of an incarcerated parent, have been for the past 22 years. I know the pain and the anguish that comes along with that separation. Um, kids of incarcerated parents are six times more likely to follow in the footsteps of their parent that's incarcerated. They have more social, educational, and uh, emotional issues than a normal kid. So um, I feel like you know I was able to circumvent and navigate through a whole lot, and I would like to be a map for those that's in a situation that I was once in. And hopefully they can, you know, help them. I can help them and we can help them, you know, reach their dreams. That's perfect, man. So being in that situation, you know, let's say that, let's turn it around the page and say that you was in a situation to make change. And you was like, you know, that, that government figure, or let's say you was like the mayor of the city of DC. What what would you do personally to, to make that change happen? Well, to be honest with you, I don't think that um, a person in that position is the change agent. I don't think there's anything that the mayor can really do. Uh, this has to be something that, that's done across the board. Um, this is not something somebody can wave a magic wand at and solve this problem. This is a systematic problem. It's a cultural problem. Um, jail is not jail or prison or criminality is looked at in the communities like the one I come from as being something that's right. Um, that's something, that's an ideology issue. So the way you correct that is to touch the people in those communities, try to reestablish the fabric, um, the value system in those communities. And that's done, to, in my opinion, through education, um, through morality, and, and also ultimately through employment. You know, and, I, and so I, of course I, I think that the mayor per se, or whoever that may be, or if I was the mayor, we could try to create some type of program to be more um, pro-community or be targeted to those kind of communities. But at the end of the day, this has to be something that the community has to be responsible for. Okay, so um, tell me, what's the day like for Tony Lewis? Like, how, 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 how the day starts for you? Um, the day starts with me going into the office, um, emailing, calling, um, employees, um, and sometimes visiting employees, going to meet in strategy meetings on how we're going to actually um, target employees or market um, our clients who happen to be people with criminal histories to uh, the business community, um, talking to training providers, talking to other government agencies, you know, all of us, you know, focused on getting people ready to go into the workforce. Um, and then after that, that's kind of what I do all day. And, and also training, teaching classes on job readiness, employability, uh, employee expectations with the guys, talking to them about mindset change um, uh, and, and things of that nature. And then I, after that, 
um, I kind of could get to work in the sons of life. I mentor kids in costume and parents, so some days I may check in with my mentees. Um, I do events like feed the homeless and uh, do marches and things of that nature. To, 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 uh, I get involved with squashing beefs um, in, 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 the, in the, the local communities and things of that nature. So it all depends on what the what the issue is for the day. But typically, uh, my day is filled with. Um, action and preparation, and it's, it's busy. I, I also have a family, you know what I mean? So they fit somewhere in there. Um, I got my father and cousins and uncle that's in prison, and they calling me all the time for things that they need. Um, so I'm a pretty busy guy, but I say, what do you see? Yeah, that feels like you got a lot going on. Yeah. So, you know, I, wonder, I know everybody wondering, you know, what's it like, you know, as soon as you heard that you was the winner of the 2011 hoodie was what, what went through your mind at that very moment? Man, man um, I was really overwhelmed. That's the word that I use because I mean, first of all, the nomination process. You know, people had to vote to get me there, um, and I'm, I'm born and raised Washingtonian. So typically, this is not a city that supports. Um, I was up against three women from New York City, um, and so for me to be nominated, I felt like I had already won. I wasn't concerned about winning. I didn't prepare to win. Um, and I, not that I didn't think I deserved to win, but just based on numbers, you have a city with 8 million people versus a, a city with 600,000 people. And even if we incorporate Maryland, Virginia, or the, the DMV, we're talking about 3 to 4 million people. Right? right? Um, and so when they, and I was nominated for Best Community Leader. Um, and, and, and another thing was I, I'm 31. Everybody else in the category is pretty much 46 and up. So I just, and it, I was the only male. And they called my name. Kevin Hart was the one of the presenters, and, and when he said Tony Lewis, man, I, it, I was just overwhelmed. I was like, wow, it wasn't so much that I did it. I felt like it was something that we did. We being, you know, DC. And my my, my mantra, um, something that I've been pushing on the, on the area and trying to influence is uh, DC or nothing. And, and that's 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 just being pro everything that comes from DC. It's about supporting um, our own. And I felt like in that moment. Um, that was a testament to that. That meant that, and I even made. I mean, that's what I how I ended my speech, and because I meant that though. That was a, that was symbolic of a cause that I started. And anything when you start something, um, or you an, an idea, and you see it manifest. And I felt like that idea of DC or nothing manifested um, when I won the award. That's that's amazing, man. So after the break, we're gonna continue to talk with Tony Lewis, man, about the the, the, the chapter, you know, about the beginning of a of a new, not really a new chapter, but just you know behind the scenes, man. Like you know, talk to him more about the community, you know, his involvement, you know, the 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 man, you know, behind the hoodie wall. That's what we wanna know. So you know, after that, we wanna talk more about it. Tony Lewis. It's um, Anthony Tillman, Picture Perfect TV. Everybody um, feels like when you get involved in the community, you got to be with the organization or the group. Um, individually, that's the most important work that can be done. Before I ever started doing anything structured, I was doing things individually. And I only can hope that young people, the 18 to 35 year old demographic, can understand that and show the rest of the world, man, that we're not a generation laws. But we are the next generation to take the helm and um, they can feel comfortable in passing the baton to us. So um, get active in your community doing whatever you can to positively affect the lives of other people. DC enough. Alright, I'm back. Tony Lewis. Um, we're talking about the man, you know, behind the Hoodie Awards. Um, you know, it was, it was a great chapter. You know, I mean, I'm a great moment, I should say. You know, I'm just, I'm just here talking to him about the man behind the winner. You know, the, the winner, the champion of DC. You know, the community leader. The person, the man, you know, that's what we want to know today. We want it's beyond, you know, congratulations on the win, but we want to really get to the the man behind the scenes of the war. That's what we want to know. So, tell me, what what's, what opportunities are you looking to do now? Be honest, you. Um, well, I'm just trying to use this platform uh, to to bring more attention to the causes that I care about, which is the well-being of kids and incarcerated parents, and uh, hopefully trying to give people, formerly incarcerated people, um, a fair shot at employment. You know, this work I've been doing this for years, man, so uh, it's never been about any getting any accolades or anything. As much as I appreciate the hoodie, um, I'm, 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 I'm committed to what I do, so I just hope to continue to press forward in what I've been doing. That's helping the population, 
um, and, and bringing bringing more attention to the plight of my people. Cause that's how I look at it. I come from that. Um, and by the grace of God, I was able to, um, you know, not not fall into those societal traps. So it's my it's my duty to try to get people out of those traps and make sure those young people don't fall into the traps that you know many of my peers and the people before me did. So that's pretty much it. So if you um so as you mentioned people. And if you like, let's say you welcome somebody right now that you that you had mentor, you know, that you had helped. What do you think the first thing they would they would say about you? Um, Tony did everything he could to help me. You know, I think that's a um, that can't. What's one thing I feel good about? That can't be questioned. You know, and, and I'm genuine. Um, people feel connected to me, man. It's not even it's not like my clients or anything. Those people are like family to me, and I've helped thousands of people in this city. And I hope, you know, as you walk and follow whatever, you'll get a chance, if they're not bashing you about the camera, they'll tell you that. You know? Yeah. So, um, you know, I, first of all, I want to thank you for doing this interview. You know what I mean? People can actually sit down and just talk about something. I know, like, you know, it's a it's a big, not beyond the, the Hoodie Awards, you know, you did a lot for this community in D.C. You know, but I just want to thank you personally for that. You know, just, you know I mean, that, that that's just another step in your journey. But you know, before that journey, and before that step, you, you was a great person in the city anyway. So, you know, that's what I, I wanted. I want everybody to know that, you know, be, before he won the hoodie was, he was already doing great things. So that, that just proved that, that that journey was was noticed, you know, and, and I want people to know that. So, you know, anything you like you want to say before we close it out? Um, pretty much, I just hope that young people um, and our age demographic, man, I want them to get more active. And it doesn't have to be so structured. It don't have to be about them getting with me or whatever. Just do something, you know, try to positively influence, you know, um, anybody. Positive, positively influence people in your community and you can do it. And um, it's not that hard. The conversation can mean a lot. Um, giving of some goods that you didn't use, whether it be clothes or whatever. You know, just to get active in the community. Okay. Thank you, man. I appreciate the interview, man. We're going to follow you around. Let's, let's, let's do it, man. That's why it's a fun day, man. Let's do it. All right, man. It's a pleasure.